Welcome to It's Rafiq. In this video, we will discuss how we can do the practical questions for pre-board examination. In this video, I am going to talk about HTML, how you can do HTML or how you can create web pages for pre-board pre examination. Here, I am using Windows 11 and Notepad to write the codes and the step will be similar for Windows 10 and Windows 7. The first question, create a web page that serves an invitation card to your birthday party. Use all the HTML tags and along with CSS. <coughs> to do this program, first we will have to open Notepad. For that we will go to search bar and here we will write Notepad. And the Notepad will appear there. Click on the Notepad and to maximize the screen or full screen the notepad app for that you click on maximize button after doing full screen first you will have to write this line ex bracket exclamatory sign doc type html okay after this line you will write html again this is the root element of the document then head tag after that we will write style of the document for that we will write style and here we will put some basic style to our page first I am giving background color to the page so I am selecting body tag and inside the body I am giving two properties background color background this color background color I am setting as pink and one more property I am giving here I am giving as color means text color color I am giving as let it be red <coughs> suppose I have these two property only after that we will close the bracket for body we have done now we are going to write the header heading one there we will write uh, body invitation for that we will put some style for h1 so we, I am writing h1 there I am writing the color for the h1 color I am giving as a uh, let it be blue and I am giving text decoration also so write text decoration underline I am giving this two property only then break it close now let close the style style part is done means css part done after that we will close we will have to give head oh sorry title title we can write before the style means just after opening the head we can write title here so title in title we will write birthday invitation then we will close the title so our head part and head part totally done after that we will close head then we are going to start body so I am writing body and inside the body at first I will write h1 here I am writing birthday invitation ok after that I will close h1 and set br and I am giving one more br after drawing a line for that hr then here I am creating a paragraph and here writing you are invited to my birthday party on this I am giving a date fifth th should be go up so I am writing sup then th sup january 2024 the there will be a small get together 
of our friends and lots of fun then please don't miss the party then we can close p take after that i am writing one more take that is a pre or we can write address take also or we can just have b b take here i am writing venue b then b r own residence then b r then place name like 6 mile guwahati then again b r after that i will close b r uh, body tag then html tag so this coding part is done for the first question now we will save the page for saving the page we will go to file menu here we will get two options save and save is if you are saving for the first time you can choose any one i am taking save and here you will select the place where you are going to save i will suggest you select desktop because there you can easily search your file and here you change the name give the name is birthday you can give any name after the name full stop html then now to get the output minimize the file by clicking on the, on the minus sign and after that you will get your file on the desktop here this is my file birthday double click on the file so this is my birthday invitation letter here i have applied a bit css and wrote few lines of messages now birthday invitation if you want to put in center position we'll have to write one more line of css so i am going to notepad inside h1 you will write text align center now it should come in center position let's go to the browser and reload the page so this came in center so this way you can solve the first question and you can also see there the th it came a bit above because i have set th inside SUPT. so this way you can do the first question <coughs> now we'll move to the next question let's go to the word document create a web page that serve as a guide for the mathematical formulas using html tag along with css properties so similar way this one i am closing we will open notepad for that we will go to search box there we will type notepad click on the notepad and as i am using from windows 11 so previous file will be already there i am taking a new file file new tab and previous one closing the first line will be similar doc type html in viva exam it may ask why you are using doc type doc type it suggests that it will tell that this document is written on html5 okay first head sorry not head html then we will write head then title in title we will write mathematical formulas okay then title close after that we will apply a bit css so we will write style first i will setting for the whole page so body take inside body tag i am setting the background color background this color as yellow and text color for that we will write property as color 
I'm setting as red and after that we can set margin also if you want if you do not want no need to put we can give font face also these things we can do but if you don't require it, no need to put it after that we can set style for paragraph P here I am writing font family there in font family we will give a text style I am giving a comic sense ms and color blue or black also can give and bracket close after that style close then head close then we'll start body now here at first we'll have to write the title of the page h1 here we will write this part again mathematical formulas and paste it h1 close suppose we have to put some style for h1 also then we'll repeat this part we'll write here h1 and here I am writing text align center means whatever I have written inside h1 it will be in center position after that br then I'll draw a line for that hr for hr also we can set styles for that we'll write here hr let the color be red okay then we are going to add the formulas first formula here we can use list item like ol order list and here li list item the first formula a plus a plus b then whole square whole square will write as you p then to s u p close then equal here we'll write a again as u p to s u p close then plus to a b plus again b s u p to s u p close okay then li close now two more formula we can add for this just we'll copy this line and we can paste it down okay here instead of plus we will write b a minus b whole square equal a square minus 2ab plus b square and one more formula we can write a plus b again a minus b here whole square is not needed here we'll write a square minus b square so 2ab is also not needed we'll cut it a square minus b square okay suppose my formulas are finished then we'll close the oval tick and after that we'll close body tick and we'll close the head tick so this is for question number two now we'll have to save the page control s here i'm giving the page name is formula dot html then we'll have to open the page for the output here is my page as you can see this is the output mathematical formulas so this way we can do it <coughs> Now we will move to question number oh, one more thing uh, HR color is not changed 
for each are better you can write here only color equal red save the piece and just reload the line color came into red so this way we can solve question number two now let's move to question number three create a web page to form tabular representation of different mobile names with their features here we have to create a table and here we will have to write features of the mobile and for that i am creating a taking a new file again new tab closing the earlier one same thing doc type html then html again then head inside head title popular will read popular mobiles or mobile phones you can write title close then we'll put style for that style tag and here we are selecting body tag so body here i am setting page color background base color setting a slight blue then color setting as red then bracket close after that h1 setting as text align as center then semicolon color purple bracket close now style close or for a table also we'll have to do some styles so we'll write table then comma th td okay here i am setting border 1px means border thickness will be 1px style will be solid and color will be let it be blue then break it close style part done now we are going to create the table first head take close body take start now we are making the table first table then we will write caption caption will write inside h1 take then caption i am writing this one only popular mobile phones then h1 close uh, caption close h1 will have to write the inside the caption h1 close then caption close okay after that we will make the table heading th first table row tr then th here we will write mobile name then th close again th here features then th close then tr close again tr then td in place of th here i am giving iphone 15 then td close again td here i am writing some features like let it be like uh, 48 mp camera satellite communication just some features um, like 8 gb ram 256 gb rom done after that we will close td then we will close the tr and we will repeat the same thing for two three times we will put some other mobiles 
here instead of iPhone 15 I am writing Galaxy S22 suppose satellite communication instead of there I am giving moonlight camera and let it be other things same after that after writing all the rows we will close the table then we will close body and we will close the HTML so this way we can do this question again we will save the page we will give the name is mobile dot html then we will save it now let's see how will be the output this is my file double click it to open so this will be the output popular mobile phones then uh, again if you want some spaces between border and the content we can add padding inside the table here we can write padding then we can add it as uh, 5 pixels save and let's go there and reload it so there you can see there is enough spaces between the border and the content so this way we can create a do this question in HTML again uh, if you want to join suppose I want I don't want space between the cells then what we will do we'll copy this code paste it from here we will cut the table okay and the first from the first thing we will cut th and this one here I am writing this one only and padding I can remove it here I will write uh, border collapse and value I will give is collapse now save the file and let's reload the page now you see there is no border between the cells so this way you can do the question number three and now let's go move to the next question question number four and five I have already discussed in some other videos I will put the link in comment section you can go through that and you can see how to do that questions thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye